Um, just as a background, this, this piece came about after a discussion with friends. I've got a background in, in youth work and mental health, and we were trying to figure out what depression looked like. And I was starting to see it seeping into my social circles, and it wasn't just confined to my high-performing entrepreneurial or business-owning friends, or friends in trades, or full-time mothers, or friends who worked in law enforcement, education, healthcare. I was starting to see it everywhere. So we started having these discussions that needed to be had, and I formed what I think is a pretty good view of what depression looks like. Um, so this is uh, Te Kuri Pangal, the black dog. Te Kuri Pangal, the black dog. Why do we call it a dog when stumbling blindly throughout this fog is not reminiscent of man's best friends? It is rather Te Tanifa o Te Po, the monster of the darkness. This tanifa does not discriminate. Its hate does not differentiate based on your sex or race, the place you call home, your bank balance or your chromosomes. This monotone syndrome will engulf your life force and force you to your knees. What does it look like? There are no broken bones or external symptoms or signs, no prism of crimson flowing outward from within, just victims confined within invisible paradigms. It looks like your builder, your plumber, your dentist. Relentless in conquest, it's sly and inventive. Mask on a man who is drowning, no bottom in sight. Engulfed in a torrent, in a sea filled with fear and an onslaught of currents in a realm filled with his tears. And still he stands. It's the girl at the dairy, the lady on the bus. Your local school teacher with whom your children you trust. And inside she suffers, she can't breathe, she's constricted. No rationale of thinking can prohibit the interlinking of what's inflicted. And still she stands. It's the man here today, at the back of the crowd. Broad shoulders, well respected, with an invisible storm cloud, and this morning he contemplated taking his life. Mindset segregated and weighted within this tiny far coerced. Need not think twice. And still he stands. It's your sister, your mother, the lady next door. And she's trapped within South, her hands tattered and worn, and she's battered and clawn as she claws an attempt to heal wounds. She's forlorn and undated with contempt for herself. And still she stands. It looks like Rob Mukaraka attempting suicide by police, unable to see some release of sadness to navigate towards peace. It's Mike King in a vicious cycle of frustration, anger and regret, in a preset palette of shades of grey indebted to an injured mindset. And still they stand. Now, it looks like almost all of us at some stage within our lives know I don't have a magical cure, but I do know within darkness it thrives. Now, Rob was onto something. He said, with aroha, we are set free. For to cast that tanifa to the light renders it incapable to breathe. You do not need to harden up. Yes, it's okay to talk. You are not alone with the journey you walk, nor the sum of the total of your thoughts. It looks like me, the wahine standing before you on this platform, who channels her darkness to brainstorm and perform, turning her inner deformities into an art form. And still I stand. It looks like us. And together, we stand. Kia ora.